the whole point is you're going to be clamping the part anyway. Why not measure what diameter is at the same time? You've already done your quality check by the time the part's coming off. Welcome to another Technical Corner. I'm here with, today with Jacob Machin from Heimbook. Um, and we, we saw earlier, there's another video where we saw David, um, also from Heimbook, showing us a really great demonstration of the impacts of greasing uh, a chuck, improving the clamping force, and he was testing the clamping force with the Heimbook test it. Um, and you've got a brand new product that actually incorporates the tester into a chuck. What's that? What's that product, and what is it? What's it called? Uh, the product is that is well, it's a range of products called the IQ chuck and the IQ mandrel, and those uh, those chucks and mandrels will measure the diameters, the clamping pressures, and uh, the loading position of different parts parts in process. Yeah, absolutely. And so being able to measure in with this technology actually inside the chuck means you don't have to stop the process, put your piece of hardware in, measure the clamping force at an event at a certain point in time. Yeah. What are the benefits to measuring it? Because you can then measure it constantly. Yeah, so th this is a manual form of measuring clamping forces, but this is an automated form of measuring clamping forces and measuring everything about your part, really. And you, the whole point is you're going to be clamping the part anyway why not measure what diameter is at the same time? You've already done your quality check by the time the part's coming off. Yeah, yeah. so there's OD, that's if you're uh, OD or the ID in terms of, a, in the case of a mandrel, if that's a really important uh, feature on your component, it'd be really useful to not have to take it out in process, interrupt the process, take a measurement, and then put it back in the machine. So there's a huge benefit to that as well. Um, but uh, you can see in the video here, there's, there's lots of different ways you can, op and options you can use the IQ chuck in, not just in the machine as well. Yeah, so uh, say you've got a feature that isn't actually going to be your clamping diameter, we can do it post-process where, where we can remove the part from the machine, put it onto a stationary uh, measurement unit and measure pretty much anything OD or ID on a out-of-the-machine system. Yeah, yeah. So, and so when customers are looking at more automated systems that are going to need good clamping forces, um, on really precise diameters and also control those diameters as well. Um, what are the benefits for someone looking at automating a lathe or a turning operation? So the, the benefits are you're going to know almost 100% of the time the parts that are coming off, what they look like. You can not only check it while you're beside the machine, but you can check it while you're sat at home on your iPad scrolling through. It can tell you all the data for all the recent parts and it can also tell you roughly what your tool life is looking like. Because as those diameters start to change, you'll see, oh, uh, my cutting tool is starting to blunt, so the diameter is starting to get a bit too big. And when you're continuing to automate these turn parts, um, how would you check that the, the parts are seated correctly? And, and does this system help even more with a, a, system, with a, a requirement like that? Yeah, so typically in the past, people used AirSense, which is just using pneumatics to check when parts have been loaded into the correct position. We use electronics to do that. And if we're using electronics to do that, we can also check the clamping pressures and the diameter part at the same time. So if you're checking one thing, why not check all of it? Thank you so much, Jacob. Um, so if you're interested in trying to monitor your automated um, turning process or you have a lights out turning process and you want to make sure that your clamping pressures are uh, absolutely correct for every single component that you manufacture, you need to check out the IQ Chuck from Heimbook.